Hello, my friends. It's Matthew Street. Welcome to my channel. As always, I truly appreciate you being here. And folks, I thought I would do a quick video here uh, and do a book review. Yes, a recent book that I just finished. Now, it's been out a little while. I want to say at least a month or so. It's by Kenneth Womack, and it's called Living the Beatles Legend, The Untold Story of Mal Evans. Folks, as you know, this was a highly, highly anticipated Beatles-related book that was coming out. It's been in the works for a long time by Ken, who was given access to Mal Evans' materials, diaries, paraphernalia, memorabilia, all the stuff that was locked away for decades. And at one point, you know the story, uh, Mal was going to be working out a, or had worked out a book deal with a company back in the mid-70s. He was going to do his memoir. He was going to be putting it out. And uh, tragically, he lost his life um, in 1976, January of 76. And Ken covers everything in this book. Now, the book deal obviously never went through. The materials were almost lost forever, but by the good graces they were located found and returned to the evans family eventually and that's when ken picked up the story in the last few years and was able to compile this book with the permission of mal evans estate and here it is a very thick book very you know it actually reminds me size wise of this one here tune in by mark lewison which came out can you believe 10 years ago since we got Volume one of Tune In, okay? When's uh, Tune In, when's Turn On coming and then Drop Out, <laughs> the third volume, right? When are they all coming, uh, Mark? But anyway, that's neither here nor there, but they're about the same size. And I have to say the quality of them is the same as well. And I'm not talking just about quality of the materials to put them together, but the quality of the the writing, the story, the research, and my recommendation, because as you know, this is one of my favorite Beatle books thus far. Uh, volume two, volume three, Mark, anybody soon? I love that book. It goes up to 1962 in the history of the Beatles. We're waiting for more, but this is just as good. Now, this isn't a comprehensive story as this is of the entire Beatles career and every facet of the Beatles career. This hones in on one particular individual who's right there in the eye of the storm, in the middle of the hurricane of the Beatles success and career, and that's Mal Evans, their loyal roadie friend. You know, he do it all, fix it all, Mr. Fix it all, Mal Evans. And his story has never been completely told until right now. First and foremost, right off the bat, let me just say this is an outstanding book. Ken Womack did a great job. It is absolutely fantastic. If you are a Beatles fan, this is essential. Essential just as this is essential. Even though this hones in on one particular individual story related to the Beatles, it is so well written, so well done, so comprehensively researched and Loving, lovingly put together by Ken Womack. You can tell he really had a lot of passion when he was putting this together. Um, it, is, it is absolutely outstanding. So if you're a Beatles fan, and you know how important this series of books is going to be, this is right there with them. Because it hones in on a particular area that has never been focused on, and it's something you need to read about and know about because there's a lot of details and stuff in here that have never been revealed before. And for the first time, you'll get them here. Now, there's also going to be a part two to this book coming out, I believe, sometime in 2024, where it's going to be more of memorabilia, photos, archive material, stuff like that, which will be really fantastic to get. But this is absolutely essential, folks. Hats off to Ken. Salute to Ken Womack. He did a great job with the help of the Evans family, Julie and Gary Evans. Now, I'm going to try to make this as, as quick as possible. I don't want this to be too long, but I wrote a lot of notes. I had all kinds of notes written and stuff like what I was going to talk about with this book. But I said, let me just do it from the heart, just try to do it in a few minutes, because I know people, you're short for time, it's the holidays and whatnot. As I said, if you're a Beatles fan, this is absolutely essential. 
But what if you're not a Beatles fan? Is it still essential? Yes, it is absolutely still essential. Why? Because I got to admit, living the Beatles legend, <laughs> the untold story of Mal Evans, it's not a happy story, in my opinion. And it, even if you're not a Beatles fan, it's still a great cautionary tale of somebody who had a good heart, a good spirit. They wanted the best for their loved ones and their family. They tried very hard, but in the end, they made decisions that were detrimental to so many people. And the biggest detriment was to themselves, talking about Mal. And he ended up, as you know, if you know the story in January of 1976, being shot by police officers, Los Angeles police, at his apartment when he was holding a rifle and raised it towards the officers after they had warned him several times to put the weapon down, to come outside, they did their job. And um, unfortunately, he raised the weapon and that was it. I mean, that's what police are trained to do is protect life and certainly their own lives. They wanna go home to their families, but also the lives of other people that could be affected by the, this situation. And that's what happened. Unfortunately, Mal was in a bad place at that point in his life, and he was only 40 years old. And why was he in that place, folks? Let me just say it without going through all my notes here. <sighs> it's just a, one of those tough, sad stories that here's a man who was just a, a regular Joe. He wasn't glamorous. He was just, you know, a working stiff out there, trying to make a buck for his family, trying to get a career going. Had a young wife, a young child, eventually two children, and he gets a nice little job in, in, in the United Kingdom working, you know, uh, with a, a pensioner's job where he would get a pension eventually and have a, a long career and, and be able to provide for his family. But the allure of the lights, the glamour, rock and roll, that lifestyle were just so uh, tempting for him, and he couldn't resist that temptation. He was you know, caught up in the whole early part of the Beatles career at the cavern. He would go down the cavern during his lunch breaks and he saw this young band on the stage and the excitement they were generating and the great music they were providing for the people. And he saw the people's reactions to them and he got caught up in that. He got caught up in the celebrity of it, that the excitement of being involved in that lifestyle of being around entertainment, as it were, the lights, like I said, the excitement, it's, I can't express it any differently. He just, he got caught up in it. And, you know, we're all, we all have that little bit of an entertainer inside of us. We all have that, you know, uh, doing YouTube here. Anyone that has a YouTube channel, you have to have a little bit of an entertainment bug inside of you to do this, to get up in front of people. And, and you're basically entertaining, you're providing content, whether it's you're playing music or you're talking about music or you're doing comedy bits or you're talking in a dramatic fashion or you're talking about things in your own personal life, you're putting yourself out there, you're being an entertainer. And you know, back in those days, there was no YouTube, there was no internet, but, but, but Mal just got caught up in what, he, he had that, inside of him, that he wanted to entertain, to be out there, to be part of it. And how do you make that decision at such a young age? You know, we, he was only in his mid to late 20s when he met the Beatles in 63, well, 62, he met, he met them and whatnot, but then by 63, he was signed on as an employee for the Beatles, and then he went right through to the end of his life being involved with them and, and and with wanting to be in the music business and songwriting business and all that. And he he just made some decisions that were looking back on it now, you might say, oh no, they were great decisions. You know, he, he was with the Beatles, he got to be part of it all, but at what cost? You know, at what cost, folks? Is it worth it? He, let's be honest, neglected his wife and his children. He neglected his personal life, all for the allure of celebrity and entertainment, music, the Beatles. And he went, you know, for many days, weeks, months at a time, he'd be away from his family. And his family was, I, I, there's no way you can slice it. His family was, was hurt by this. 
And I think inside of Mal, it destroyed him inside and tore him up inside that he, the allure of the Beatles lifestyle and being part of the Beatles career, but also knowing what he was neglecting back home, a wife, a family, you know, and in many cases, scraping along to make enough money to provide for that wife and family. And it tore at him. And then when you throw substances and in, getting involved in it, and it just by the mid seventies, it caught up with him folks. You know, by then he was pretty much living separate from his family and his wife over in the United States in California. And I think it just, in the end, that's what killed him. That's what killed Mal Evans is that he, he couldn't, when his worlds collided and he couldn't keep those worlds balanced anymore and separate, you know, the, the life with the Beatles, the debauchery and the entertainment and the what he was doing outside of his marriage over here, you know, with, with other people and in substances and living that rock and roll lifestyle. But then over here, a wife, children, living that serene, you know, take care of the family kind of family man life. He tried, he tried to balance it. He tried to compartmentalize it and he couldn't do it. And it finally caught up with him. And it finally just, I think his house of cards just eventually started to fall down and he couldn't hold them up anymore. He couldn't juggle all the balls anymore as it were. And ended up losing his life for it at such a young age. It's such a shame because, you know, the the effect it had on his family was devastating enough, but if he'd only hung on a little more, if he could have found some way to have spiritually and emotionally hung on a little longer, I think as the dawn of the 80s happened, and certainly the 90s with the anthology, Mal would have been a strong part of all that excitement and managing Apple with Neil and Beatle projects happening. He, he would have been all set for life, and his family would have been all set for life, but unfortunately... He didn't make it that far. And um, it just, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I Like I said, I had all these notes here, and I could go on for 20, 30 minutes talking about all the little details. But it's all here. It's all in Ken's book. Every phase, every facet of the Beatles' career from the time Mal took employment with them in 63 till the Beatles broke up officially in 1970. And then beyond that, helping out the solo Beatles, spending time with the solo Beatles during the early 70s up until he lost his life in 1976. It's all here in great detail. There's so many new factoids and things that you need to learn about and read about, and they're all right here. So hats off again to Ken Womack for writing an essential Beatles book. This book is just as essential in my world as the Mark Lewison book is in the future, Mark Lewison books, whenever they come. But this is essential, folks. This is a great book, but it's not a happy book. It's Yes, it's a, it's a Beatles-related book, so there's the story of the Beatles in here that's fun to read about and exciting from the, from the perspective of Mal Evans, and Mal's story is finally being told. But Mal's story itself is kind of a sad story. It's not a happy ending. It's not a happy story. So be prepared for that. But it is essential as a Beatles fan and essential as a non-Beatles fan to read about a cautionary tale of the allure of celebrity and rock and roll and how it can affect not only yourself and end up destroying your life, but also the life of your loved ones around you. Something to think about, folks. And it's a great read, a great story. Ken Womack, thank you. Thank you for providing this story. And thank you to the Evans family for being brave enough to share their father's story, although it's not always a happy or, or excite or positive one, uh, as you'll read. But it's just, it's, it's a nice book to have. And uh, it's a cautionary tale for those not involved in music directly or the Beatles, but it's something you should read about. And I'm rambling on here, but uh, I highly recommend this book. Living the Beatles Legend, The Untold Story of Mal Evans. Pick it up. It's essential, folks. It's fabulous. Thank you all for being here. Take care. Merry Christmas.